Right, for today's video, we're going to be ranking the 10 biggest rivalries in the championship ahead of next season. No messing about for this one, let's just jump in. Starting out in 10th, we've got the Dockyard Derby between Plymouth and Portsmouth. Is this one even a rivalry? I'm not so sure, but I had to scrape the barrel a little bit to find something for number 10 on this list. Can anything really be considered a derby game when the two teams in question are three and a half hours apart from each other? I'm not so sure. Regardless of that, this one has been built up by the media in recent years, it would seem, as the Dockyard Derby, so I thought I'd throw it in at number 10 on this list. Looking at Plymouth and Portsmouth fans online, they don't really consider this one to be much of a derby themselves, to be fair, but I thought it would be a only one to chuck in at number 10. In at 9, I've gone for Millwall against QPR, the only real London derby that we've got in the championship next season. These two are by no means the biggest of rivals, and that's why I've put them fairly low down on this list. Obviously, with the two clubs being at different ends of London, you'd regard QPR's bigger rivals as the likes of Fulham, Brentford, Chelsea, and obviously Millwall have that more historic rivalry with West Ham as well. But being the only sort of London derby for next season, I thought I'd throw it in there at number 9. In 8th place, I've gone for the Teesway Derby, which is competed between Sunderland and Middlesbrough. Now, there have been some tasty fixtures between these two in recent history, even thinking back to last season when Middlesbrough went to the Stadium of Light and absolutely wiped the floor with Sunderland, beating them 4-0. There was a really good 3-3 draw between these two not that long ago as well. While this one is a tasty fixture, it's not the biggest of rivalries, I wouldn't say, in the Championship. Obviously, with Sunderland, you'd always look to that rivalry with Newcastle as a lot more fierce but definitely worth a mention on this video and part of the top 10 list for me in seventh place i've gone for the seven side derby which is quite fitting between bristol city and cardiff this one competed between england and wales reason i wouldn't put this one higher up on this list is because it's neither team's main rivalry you'd say obviously cardiff against swansea we'll get to talking about that later in the video and bristol city against bristol rovers but this one is a nice placeholder especially when one of their respective of main rivals isn't in the same division as them. There have been some tasty battles between these two in recent history as well. It's definitely Cardiff who have had the better of this fixture more recently. They've won their last three meetings with Bristol City, including doing the double over them last season in the league. Bristol City will be hoping for a bit of revenge on that next season, I'm sure. As the sixth biggest rivalry in the championship ahead of next season, I'll go for Preston against Blackburn. It's always a tasty fixture, obviously. It's only a half an hour drive between Deepdale and East. Wood Park. That's one of the closest journeys of any two championship stadiums in the entire EFL. Especially of late, these games always tend to have that little bit of needle in, and especially when it is a packed out away end, either Deepdale or Ewood Park can be a really great atmosphere as well. With that being said, I can't really justify putting this one any higher up on the list as Preston aren't Blackburn's main rivals, or vice versa. Blackburn aren't Preston's main rivals. But especially for those seasons where Blackpool or Burnley haven't been in the Championship. This is always a nice placeholder, I think, for each side. As a little bonus one that I'll also throw in there at this point as well, Preston against Burnley. Similar sort of rivalry for um, Preston against Blackburn. It's neither club's biggest derby game of the season, but still a good Lancashire rivalry regardless. Fifth biggest rivalry in the Championship. I'm going to go ahead and say Leeds United versus literally everyone. Now stick with me for this, but I genuinely think you could find some reason or another for Leeds Leads to have some sort of rivalry or beef with literally every club in the championship ahead of next season. I think Leeds do a good job of playing up to the role as the sort of pantomime villain in the championship. A lot of championship fans make it no secret that they don't like Leeds United. I think Leeds are quite happy to play into that stereotype as well. Even looking at some of the tasty fixtures that we've got coming up next season involving Leeds, Leeds against Sheffield United is always good, against Sheffield Wednesday can be drama. Hull fans don't particularly like like Leeds. Leeds against Millwall, you've got a bit of an angle in there with a the rivalry. Leeds against Derby, another one with real significance after the recent beef between those two, after all the drama in the playoffs and with Spygate. I do think the Championship on the whole is a better league with having Leeds in it because there are always these subplots and drama going on around them. Be interested to know from Leeds fans, who would you consider to be your biggest rivals in the Championship for next season? Let me know. Fourth biggest rivalry in the Championship next season, I'm going to say is the M1 Derby, which is competed between Luton Town and Watford. These two fan bases 
do not like each other and this is the part of the video where we're really starting to get into the spicy derbies. Now in recent history these two sides haven't actually played each other all too often. It's been quite commonplace for these two teams to be in different divisions and if anything I think that adds a little bit more drama to this fixture as well the fact that we've not had that many recent meetings between them. Prior to the two sides meeting in September 2020 the two clubs hadn't played each other since 2006 which brings into perspective just how long of a gap there actually was in this fixture and during that time all that tension, resentment, bitterness from each fan base had the chance to build that little bit more. Since they played each other in 2020 they've had four Four meetings, Watford have won two of those games and Luton have won two of those games, so really quite evenly poised. In recent history, it's usually been the case that Watford have been in the higher division than Luton, but more recently, that's not quite been the case, obviously, with Luton spending last season in the Premier League, and Luton will be fancied as more of a favourite for promotion next season than Watford will be, so will be some tasty games to look forward to there. I've got that at number four on my list. Third biggest round rivalry ahead of next season in the championship I've gone for Burnley against Blackburn and these two absolutely despise each other don't they it's the East Lancashire Derby a game which is steeped in history two very historic sides with passionate fan bases that especially for this game really come out and give it their all there's always a massive police presence for these sorts of matches really strict rules in terms of the away fans visiting the home stadium as well in terms of how you're actually allowed to get there and the restrictions on that in recent history Burnley have definitely had the better of this fixture. I mean, for God's sake, the other season, they won promotion at Ewood Park, didn't they? Which still has to sting for every Blackburn fan watching. To add insult to injury as well, Burnley have won their last six head-to-head -head meetings against Blackburn, and Blackburn have only scored in one of those games. Rovers will be looking to flip the script next season, but I'm sure Burnley will go into those games as the favourites. Regardless of the outcome, though, it's always a tasty matchup. That gets number three on this list for me. In second place, oh, I've gone for the the South Wales Derby, it's Swansea against Cardiff, it's an absolutely massive game and I mean if you're living in this, if this is your lived experience and you're a Welsh fan, you're probably going to put this one as number one aren't you? And I can't really have any arguments over that. Really tasty matchup, once again really big police presence and quite strict rules in terms of how you're allowed to get to the stadium in terms of an away fan. In years gone by there have been some really tasty matchups between these two sides. Maybe what takes something away from it a little bit of late has been the fact that both clubs have sort of been middling championship clubs haven't they? In recent history though it is Swansea who do have the edge over Cardiff in this particular fixture. Cardiff have only beaten Swansea in two of their last 11 head-to-head -head matches against them. With that being said it was a level playing field between the two sides last season. Cardiff winning the home fixture and then Swansea winning the reverse game. Who finishes higher out of these two next season? Comment down below. But coming in as the number one derby for me it's got to be the Steel City derby. Be Sheffield United against Sheffield Wednesday. I, for one, couldn't be more excited to have this fixture back in the championship ahead of next season. The two sides haven't met since 2019, and I think that that rarity almost adds a little bit more spice to this fixture as well. The fact that these two aren't always regularly playing each other. In recent history, there have been quite a few years where they've not been in the same division. I do think that sometimes a derby can be watered down a little bit if you are playing your main rivals every single season. But when you have those breaks in between, especially if you get a good few years in there, my God, that adds to the pressure, adds to the tension, excitement. And I think that's what we've got ahead of next season. It's two clubs in the same city who absolutely despise each other. We've had some cracking matches in years gone by, obviously. The one that stands out is that 4-2 victory that Sheffield United had at Hillsborough back in 2017. Now, I'm not going to lie, we have had some stinking matches between these two. Uh, the last three games, actually, between these have ended as a goalless draw. I hope that's not the case next season. But I'm not going to lie, as a neutral, that's the derby game that I'm most looking forward to next season, I'd say. There you have it, though, guys. Those are my top 10 championship rivalries to look forward to ahead of next season. Do you agree with my rankings? Do let me know in the comments down below other than that though guys thank you very much for tuning in if you think you're going to enjoy make sure to leave a like and other than that i'll see you all in the next one